So do you have one of the new Harley Davidsons with that big 12.3 inch infotainment screen? But you also have an Android phone. Well, they would tell you that you're out of luck. You cannot use Android Auto on a Harley Davidson. As it turns out, apparently Google has issues with vehicles that only have two wheels and they're not allowing Android Auto on motorcycles. So it's not just Harley Davidson's, it's on other brands as well. It just doesn't work anymore. But you can get around it. And where do you go when you need a solution? You go to Amazon, of course, where you start searching and you'll find a magic box. One that looks like this. These boxes are specific in that you're looking for one that works with wired CarPlay. So you're looking for a box that will take wired CarPlay and convert it to wireless CarPlay, but also Android Auto. So when you search for those two components, it narrows your choices a little bit, but I found a couple and have tested them out. So let's take a look at the bike and I'll show you what I found. To get started, you're gonna to wanna to boot your bike up in accessory mode. You'll hold down the trip switch button until it boots. So I've already got it booted here. We'll take our magic box and we're gonna connect the USB-C side to the USB adapter in the bike. They provide a short cable which will work well here. So we'll connect that cable on this side of the box, pop our compartment open, locate our USB-C cable and connect the two. That will power the box on and the bike should discover it. You can see here we had to wait a little bit, but I have an acceptance code to pair it. And I also have a message here that it failed, so we'll click OK. Not uncommon with these devices, you're gonna have weird error messages. We're gonna accept the pairing code. It is now paired. It's now asking me to pair it as a headset. The beauty of this box is that the microphone capabilities of it appear as a headset to the bike. So you will pair that and you have to assign it a role and then you actually will not need a wireless headset connected to use your Android Auto on the bike. But if you do want to use a headset, you'll have to pair that separately. So it's asking me to assign the headset as rider or passenger. We'll do that now, picking rider. The next step is to launch the interface by launching CarPlay. So we'll press the menu button and then we'll go over to CarPlay and press enter. You can see it takes a moment. It gives us an option to agree and accept, but it also gives us an option to agree and accept and don't ever prompt again. So you don't have to answer that again. I'm just going to accept it for this one time. This now brings up the interface of the magic box. And if we look here, we have quite a few options. We can go to apps. There's built-in apps here. You can watch YouTube on our bike. It has a built-in media player, a built-in music player, Netflix, and this will exit. The settings here are for Android Auto, um, but we won't need those at this time. To connect our phone, we're going to tap on the Android Auto icon and it'll put it in pairing mode. And this is the device name that we're looking for. So on our Android phone, we're going to swipe down and we're going to go to settings. So we want to tap on the gear. We're going to go down and we're going to look for connected devices. And if we scroll to the bottom of this menu, we're looking for Android Auto. So from here, we'll connect a car. We'll tap that and it wants us to wire the phone in, which you can do, but there's down here, there's a connect wirelessly option. And you can see it wants us to press the button on the steering wheel, which we don't have. But down below we have connect using Bluetooth. So we'll tap that and then it says pair a car. So we'll tap that and it's looking at the Bluetooth and we can see our device shows up. So the BT7608, so we'll tap on that and it puts it in pairing and it says, would you like to pair? So we'll say, okay, pair that and it'll start to connect. 
And I've gotten here where it says could not connect. And I find if you just wait it out, it will connect. And there we go. We have Android Auto on our new era touring motorcycle from Harley Davidson. From here, you can use your handlebar buttons to navigate, so the left-hand control module. And you can go up or down to go through the icons, and then the center button will select. So if we go down to the bottom here, we can select the app menu and hit the button, and we'll get all the applications. And then we can scroll through those. However, once you're over on the right side of the Android menu, you cannot get back to the sidebar to select different items. So you may need to use the touch feature to get back over. You can see using my button here, I can zoom in or zoom out on my navigation, which is quite nice. The back button will take you all the way back to the main menu. From here, you're in its main interface. You can go through again and then launch the Android Auto to get back in the system. So the system does respond to touch. You can move around your map and, you can, and I've struggled with the pinch and zoom. And the pinch and zoom does not really seem to work, but you can move around and you can certainly tap on the different inputs and you can tap on the icons and that does work. I have found you can use a wireless headset with this device. Remember, when we connected it, it presented itself as a headset, which we paired to. So to switch back to your helmet headset, you're going to need to click the menu button, go to Device Manager, and then from Device Manager, go down and pick your headset. Pick that and hit Connect and assign it a rider role, and then it will now switch over. The system still works, as long as you have a headset connected. Whether it be the headset in the magic box or your helmet headset, you can still access it by going to CarPlay. Notice that the CarPlay icon is grayed out. Don't worry about that. Just tap on it, it still loads. Be patient with it. It may take a minute to load, but there you go. We're back in the system. So there we have it. Android Auto on the new infotainment system on the new era Harley-Davidson's. A really nice option to have and a decent workaround. I mentioned that I would test a couple devices and I really found two. I found the Cameco brand that we were using here in the demo, but I also found one by Autocast. The Autocast one I would say is a little more professionally designed. The documentation's better, it has an application for your phone to program it and, and to uh, update the firmware but it has a couple big disadvantages. The first disadvantage is it does not support the touch screen. So you can't touch any of the icons. And when you're using that handlebar navigation, you end up in the application on the right side, you can't get back to the left side bar, just like with the Cameco. But your only option is to exit all the way out and then go back in to get back to the left side bar. The second disadvantage of the AutoCast is it does not pair as a headset. So you will have to have a wireless headset paired to your bike to enter the interface. However, with the Cameco brand, it presents as a headset as well as the interface itself. So you can go in and start the CarPlay to get to the Android interface without a headset. And if your intent is to use your speakers for audio, then this is clearly the way to go. I want to give a shout out to Richard in Facebook. Richard was the one to discover this device originally and did a lot of the original testing. So kudos to him for presenting that out in Facebook. I will put a link in the description where you can locate this device. If you purchase it through the link, I'll get a very small commission. But let me tell you, it really helps out and it doesn't cost you anything at all to buy it that way. I do want to say I am not an Android user, so I'm not very good with that operating system at all. I did test the audio and I could hear music from it and of course the Google Maps is working just fine, but I don't know if everything works. So you may end up purchasing the box and then some Android Auto feature may not work for you. I'm sorry I did the best I could there. But I sure hope you found this information useful and if you did, you'll share it with someone else. But until next time, in the Friction Zone.